Hi, my name is James Holroyd from Pocket Survey Surveying Software. Welcome to this short demonstration. I'm going to show you how the Asbestos Survey software works and how to create your surveying reports quickly and easily. It can also be used for asbestos priority assessments. Contact us to get your low-cost trial, where you can get your first month's subscription at a reduced price. The first thing to mention about the app is that it's designed for mobile devices, but also works great on desktop computers. There's only one interface to learn, which looks the same on all devices. So you can use it on Apple or Android, tablets and phones, as well as desktop computers, such as Windows, Mac and Chrome. So, on the buildings list, I tap into the record and you'll see the front page photo. And then there are some buttons. You can add asbestos items. Copy the building. And create the PDF asbestos report. And then open the generated asbestos report. There's also a valuable samples report that you can send to your lab along with your asbestos samples. And as we scroll down, you'll see the building address and the clients. Now, the clients feature can be turned off in the app setup. Then we have the inspection details, the inspector, inspection date, inspection time, the type of survey. We cover all the types, including management, demolition, sampling, re-inspections, etc. There are some comments. And you've got the inspection status, which you can change between scheduled, started, pending, and completed. And also the optional quality checker. Then you've got some building details, such as the description, the town, H-band, building construction, samples lab, and most importantly, the list of suspect items, non-asbestos areas, exclusions, and so on. If you click the view button, you'll see all the items in a long list. Suspect items first, then well, there's bestest areas, excluded areas. And also, if you work for housing associations, an area summary, so let's go back to the building record. And scroll down a little bit more. You've now got a place for some building images, such as floor plans, which you can label and draw on. Finally, you've got some sample certificates. You can click the Add button if you want to add new sample certificates. If you want to add new floor plans, you click the Add button. If you want to add new items, you click the Add button at the bottom of the list. If you want to edit the building record, you can click Edit. So, let's scroll back up to the top to create the report. Once you've done your survey, you click the Create Report button, and then after about 30 seconds, extra buttons will appear here, and you can then open the report as a PDF. And also, there's a Samples report for your lab. We'll look at that later. Let's look at a typical asbestos report in more detail. The front page is branded with your logo and your address. Then you've got your front photo of the building, plus an optional trade logo. Then you get an automatic table of contents, which is all hyperlinked. So you can jump to the different sections quickly. The report contains quite a lot of detailed information, all created as the click of a button. Some sections are optional and can be turned off in the app setup. The important executive summary shows identified and presumed asbestos items in priority order. Then you've got an introduction page. Now all these phrases can be edited within the app. The inspection method section will have different boilerplate text depending on what type of survey you did. The overview section of the report shows inspection details, building details, and optional client details. Now, if you've been asked to do area summaries by your client, you can capture a lot of general information about the building, room by room. There's a useful summary of asbestos findings. All of this is calculated for you. Then for each asbestos element and relevant areas in the building, we show detailed information. This information covers item and location, description, sample details, and free format notes. You can have up to two photos for each asbestos item. Each asbestos item is shown in a similar format. There's a section for any excluded areas. Then a section for non-asbestos items or non-asbestos areas. Your clients will love the report format. You have an asbestos register organised by fibre release score. There's a page explaining any recommendations to your client and a detailed explanation of the actions they should take. Even though you can include sample certificates in your report, it's also useful to present lab results in a neat little table. The asbestos assessment algorithm is explained in detail. There's a user-definable scope of inspection page. The quality assurance statement will show the inspector's signature and if you've chosen to use quality checkers, their details as well. At the end you have your four plans and any sample certificates you've included in your report. If you want to save your PDF report, tap the download button to save it to your storage area. Let's close the PDF report and get back to the app. We can return to the buildings list by tapping the buildings icon at the bottom left. So let's start a new asbestos survey to see how easy it is. Tap the add button at the bottom right of the buildings list screen. 
you'll see a scrollable form with several fields to fill in. Most of these will be user configurable menus to speed up data entry. First, you can choose a client, or if you want to, add a new one. Let's add a new client organization. Type my client, then tap use. Then you can either add a client contact name or pick an existing one. You can store other information about your client, which is helpful if you want to contact your clients on site. And so you have a little client database. Then we can choose the inspector. You can have different classes of inspectors, like more powerful administrators. You can also have a client login where a client can access their reports via a client portal. Choose an inspection date and an inspection time. And then add some inspection notes if you want to. The inspection status menu helps you track the workflow of your reports. We use a color coded pipeline approach where you go from schedule through to completed work. Remember, you can add this information on site or do it in the office if you prefer. Now let's add some building details. Adding addresses is easy since Google will search for the address if you start typing it in. You can import addresses in bulk using the import feature within the app. The building name is used to identify different buildings at the same address. You can enter an optional short description of the building. It's a good idea to allocate the report to a town, especially if you work nationwide. Enter other building details as required, such as building age band and building construction. Your reports will look much better with photos and Pocket Survey makes this easy for you. So let's take a building photo. I'm going to choose one that I've already taken because I'm using a desktop computer. But you would normally snap this on site directly from your mobile camera. That's the photo added to the front page of your report. You use a similar approach when taking asbestos item photos. Notice you can choose which laboratory to use for your sample results. Then choose save. You'll notice it's prompting us to choose which inspection type to use since it's a mandatory field. Choose an appropriate inspection type. Then save to add your report to the buildings list. Now we've set up the first part of the report. We can now inspect the asbestos items in the building and enter information into the survey report. So we'll tap into the building record to view it, and you'll see the information we've entered so far. We tap the add item button at the top to load the scrollable data entry form to enter details about an asbestos item. So you should choose a particular floor or external area, and then optionally you can specify a room if required. You can tailor the list of locations to suit your needs in the app setup. We'll choose dining room. If you have references on your floor plans, you can enter an optional location reference or choose one from the list. A quick note here, we group asbestos records into four different types of sections. Each section will prompt for different information and you would create a record for each section as required. You would use the non-asbestos areas section to log whole areas and rooms that have no asbestos. The excluded area section is used to log whole areas or rooms where you could not gain access. The area summary is used to summarise the makeup of a room or area. This is often required for housing associations. For this session I'm going to concentrate on entering a suspect asbestos item because that is normally the main part of your report. We need to choose the asbestos item being inspected, followed by a description from the menu list and any optional freeform comments. Now the assessment is really easy. The app does all the scoring behind the scenes. Choose asbestos status. Choose a justification reason. This is useful if your loop is accredited. Asbestos type defaults to presumed. A condition rating, the product type, and the surface treatment. You'll notice it automatically calculates the fibre release and the action required. However, you can override this by saying it must be encapsulated or you must remove it. That's entirely up to you. You can choose the extent where you can measure using linear metres, square metres, cubic metres, or per item, or just leave it as seen. Now, log in asbestos sample. You tap Y, it shows the automatic sample number created by the app. Each time you take a sample, this will increase. You can put a sample date on as well, and you can add your own sample reference if you have your own numbering scheme. Let's take a photo. The app will automatically launch the camera on your mobile device. However, I'll pick one from my computer because I'm demonstrating the app on a desktop. You can take more photos in a similar way. You can take two photos per item. So that's one asbestos item done. Now choose save. You would do all your asbestos items in a similar way. A quick note here, when you inspect other items, the Pocket Survey software remembers some previous selections to speed up your data entry. Once you've inspected all the asbestos items in your building, you can now create your PDF report. You tap into the building record and choose the more prominent Create Report button. You will be prompted to confirm. It takes about 30 seconds while the software generates the report in the background. 
You can continue to work on other inspections while you are waiting. The open report button will appear when your report is ready. So far we've covered the essential aspects of creating an asbestos survey report. As you've seen, it's quick and easy to do and produces a fantastic client report. But there's lots more to the software. For example, if your client wants a priority assessment, you can use the priority assessment feature. We make applying sample results super easy. With the pending samples list, where you'll see all the pending samples for your buildings organised by building, you can easily use the thumbs up to mark an item as non-asbestos. Use the thumbs down to mark it as asbestos identified, along with the asbestos type. Process samples move to the process samples list. There's a place to set up your sample analysis labs. There's a few in there already. You can add a new laboratory by using the plus icon on the bottom right. If you tap into a lab in the list, you can see the details. You can quickly toggle a lab to be your default lab, and you can edit the full details when you tap the edit pencil icon. The most revolutionary part of all this, Pocket Survey Apps is the app setup feature. Watch the longer training video to learn about this feature. Now, remember to get your low cost trial if you're not already a Pocket Survey user, where you will get your first month's subscription at a vastly reduced price. Remember, there's no obligation to carry on your subscription after the trial month, and you've got access to the full software, including free training and support. If you don't like the software after that, that's no problem. Just let us know and we won't bill you and you can continue your search for a digital solution for your asbestos surveys. Thank you very much for watching. If you want to learn more about any of our pocket survey apps, please visit our website pocketsurvey.com where you'll see lots of information about all our building and inspection software. So that's the pocket survey asbestos survey software in a nutshell. I hope you enjoyed this demonstration. Bye for now and see you soon.